this is gonna be really cool you guys are gonna love this so we're starting a series here on the channel and it's called here kitty kitty series now what it is gonna be about four or five episodes long we'll see how it goes and it's gonna kick right into another series it be part two and it'll be changing it up be interesting the first part of this is we're gonna pick four or five different locations show up at them here's the first location and we cannot leave that spot because in the summertime it says that fish will come to you more often than any other time of the year um, but how long does it take how often does that happen and more importantly how big a fish will come to you so here's the first spot we cannot leave this spot and we're gonna see how long it takes us to get a first bite how quickly we start getting bites after that and then how long it takes to get the first big one we're gonna do that like I said, about four or five episodes long, four or five different locations, and then kick off into part two, which I'll tell you guys later on in the series. So let's see what time it is. 2.42, hopefully you guys can see that. Let's get some rods in the water and uh, see how long it takes. All right, so here is the bait cooler that we got today. I don't got the actual thing. Whoops, spraying out everywhere. But I got hooked to the battery here in the truck and when you get shad in there, it makes the water super foggy, so we can't see anything in there right now. Okay, so he got one of them there. But so we're spraying it out the side. I don't know what happened to my cap. I did have a cap over the end of this thing to keep it from doing that, but it must have fell off again. Anyway, this is what we got going on right there. It's a bit of a mess, but it's working. Did you get it? Yep. All right, we got it. Nope. Oh, it came off? Dang, yeah. Second time it does that. <laughs> Second one. Guys, it's been uh, it's been not so good here. We've seen, no kidding, probably five or six turtles been murdering our bait. We have no bait. Come back in with no bait a lot of times. We've had a few to run with it. Usually they'll stop before we even make it to it. But that one, we just missed that one. 5.17. And we don't even have fish yet, so... But we're still not moving. We are not moving. We're going to stick it out see if we can get a bite. Okay, so that one was most definitely a catfish. You can see all the slime on that line. But, yeah, it didn't stay hooked. Better hurry, he's gonna get loose. Get me wrapped up. Just kidding. <laughs> Freaking bass. That giant net, by the way, give a shout out to Rick Gladdy, he gave us that net. Giant net. I mean, that thing is gonna be, I could fit in that net. Whoa. They want my bass, but I could fit in this net. Rick Gladdy gave us that net, so that was pretty cool. And this bass just came on a pole float set, I don't know, maybe about five foot in the water with a little live bluegill on there. You got the pole? Yeah. But, yeah. Well, the first fish is most definitely not a catfish. There he goes in the weeds. All right. It is 5.42. No catfish, but we did get a bass. Let's see how long it's gonna take us to get a catfish today. He's on my pole, he's on my pole. Holy crap, it's way down here. I'm trying to get it around the poles. What's this tree? Did you see it? No. Go reel in, go reel in that other pole. Which one? The pole float pole. Right here somewhere. There he is. That's a the cat strap, I think. The cat. Is it? Yeah, I'll get it over there. You got him? Holy get it, get him, get it. Get him. 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 Get him.
Oh yeah, that's 20 pounder. Another shout out to Rick Gladdy. Let's see what time it is. And we'll check out the fish. 5.59, pretty much six o'clock. Yeah, when I it. set the hook, that thing just come this way, like as fast as it wanted to. Is that thing going? That thing? Whoa. God. Oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> Raise it up there. All right, guys. What a beast. All right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go over here and put this thing in the water. I'm not gonna turn him loose yet. I'm just gonna get him, get him in the water for a second. You're Ready? definitely being recorded. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely being recorded. Right? <laughs> Am I really? Oh yeah. Not now, but he's going. There he goes. out of here all right freaking turtles are absolutely destroying the bait you gotta watch your rod tips really carefully start seeing them move if you don't hurry up and pull it away they'll go ahead and take everything from you oh man that's nice but you got a foggy spot on your camera lens right now. It does not look good. Oh, wipe it off. I really hope this is not a turtle. It looks heavy. I don't feel no head shake. <laughs> I just feel like I'm dragging something. I don't know. Can't tell if it's a fish or a turtle. It's a fish, isn't it? It ain't doing much moving, is it? With a turtle on it. With a turtle on it? Yeah. Oh, a soft shell turtle. It's a soft shell turtle. Net. Soft shell turtle. Another non catfish. This is a soft tail turtle. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Why did you do that? Now you got it in a stick. Go look at the neck on that thing. Those things are fast. For a turtle. <laughs> Those things are pretty fast for a turtle. They slick too. <laughs> Where did he go? He's off, ain't he? Gone. He's gone. I keep feeling him hit it. He's jerking on it. Right now. I got whatever. You got him? All right. Hopefully, I don't. There's a tree. Let me spin this around and show these guys this tree. Oh, I can't really see it. There it is. That tree. He doesn't want to get hung up in that. I don't know if it's a turtle. It's got those like Give me the pliers. Well, we're going to try to get this hook out. Get this turtle back in the water and try to get some catfish. You get it? I think so. Maybe. I heard something weird when you did it. Maybe not. Whatever it is, come across top of water. There's fish on it. <laughs> yeah. Little guy. Holy crap. Oh man. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, you lost it. 
Did I lose it? Yep. Yeah. See it? Can the camera see it? Yeah. There's the fish. This is a little guy. Well, what an adventure that was. <laughs> that fell in the water, really fish across top water, and lost him at the bank. This is my first fish on the big cat fever rod. Feels like a decent one on it. Hell, I uh, work this light and just set the light down and uh, like point it towards it. And then come get it. You can see. He's decent. You ready? Yeah. Here he comes. Ready? Yep. Bring him in. Like that. Decent one. First one on the big Keep cat fever rod. rod. Decent one. First one on my big cat fever rod. What do you guys think? Pretty good one for a first one, first fish on the big cat fever rod. I think the people from YouTube say it was pretty good. Heck yeah. Well, let's get this thing back in. And we ain't got a whole lot more time. I'm gonna hurry up and try to get some more bait out there and catch another one. Here we go. I forgot to mention that that little cat that fell off at the bank, it was like right at dark, so around 9, 9.30ish. That 10 pounder or so was probably about 45 minutes after that. So there's very spaced out. Guys, this is going to be the first episode of the Here Kitty Kitty series. Next time we're going somewhere completely different, and we're going to do it all over again. What time is it? Uh, 10.45. 10.40. It's almost 11 o'clock, so we fish from about roughly pretty close to 3 to almost 11. So pretty good amount of time, very few fish. But we did get fish. They did come in all different sizes, um, not a hot bite. Maybe next time it'll be better or worse. Who knows? We're going to get in there, and hopefully we don't have many turtles to mess with. That really really sucks reeling and not having no bait so that played a huge factor i think so maybe next time we get away from the turtles get on some more fish and uh see what happens so look forward to seeing you guys in the second video